Hello everyone, I'm Coffee Addict Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as Costa Caffeinada. As we are trying to wallop the chicken, it's uh, so a few comments, mostly the comments were regarding slaves in Costa Caffeinada, which is very, very cool. Let's see, actually, why do we still have you guys over here? I don't like that. Oh, now I like this much better. So, um, yeah, slavery, it's currently covered up by my state transfer tool mod. So it's up here, but if you go to the, the little handcuffs, I have a thousand and six slaves. And apparently, I learned this yesterday from my subscribers, you can only have a thousand slaves to have the max benefit, which is really disappointing because I would like to make like a slave metropolis. That actually sounds really cool. Slave metropolis. Oh, God. It's a good thing I'm playing Victoria 2 at the same time of this recording. But anyways, um, yeah, majority slave workforce. Very nice. Let's throw you guys... Over here. And another comment from yesterday was... Oh, I can't remember now. I can't remember now. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Occupied states. I'm using drug thugs, you know, militia, uh, battalions, divisions to, you know, pacify the areas. Would robots be better? Generally, light robots are better, technically, in suppressing dissent, we will say. However, the cost to produce robots is very, very high. And I don't like it that high, so it is what it is. I might get robots eventually. Actually, I probably will. So we should probably start researching that. So I guess we're done with slaves for now. As much as I love slavery, ooh, <laughs> um, doesn't really matter, you know, as long as we got a thousand slaves. So what do we do here? What does this give us? I can't read right now. Oh, basic weaponry, sell updated stuff. Mobilize the people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, followers aid. Do we really need more support equipment? Actually, we could use a lot more support equipment so that we can make other divisions, maybe. Cartel thugs, motorized roasters. Yeah, we want dogs on these guys. And dogs actually don't require any of that. But chem companies do, which we should be okay with right now doing, actually. How many dogs? Oh, how many dogs do we have? That's We don't have that many things here of this. And how much dynamite or incinerators do we have? Do we have enough that I feel we should... We should be able to do this. Very nice. Very good. Uh, let's save our political power because I want to core stuff once this war is over because I already have areas that we can already core, which is very cool. Go ahead, my friends. Um, you know what? Let's just do another general push, hopefully. We might be able to do that. Yeah, especially up here. Maybe not this tile specifically. Okay, Petro Chico Core. Okay. You guys can definitely move that way, though. I know they're not going to win down here too much. Probably, but we'll see what happens. Pioneer kit's very cool. Very, very cool. Let's grab some special platoon armor stuff. Special forces. Obviously, I'm not making special forces, like spec ops. I might consider, though, making power armor. Because I haven't done that in, in quite a while, actually. I've not used power armor at the time of this recording for other places. Go ahead and help them out there. That'd be good. Uh, you could probably actually just attack, too. You guys can definitely do well. Stim packs, that even helps us even more, even though we have 14,000 manpower already. That's good stuff. Grab some more of this. Awesome. I doubt you could win here. Yeah, I really doubt it. Just keep them... Your goal is just keep them there for now. As we're trying to rev our way through this part of Mexico. Ghouls? Very cool. Oh, good. Max out army. Great. You guys, please don't tell me you're all trying to advance there. That's not a good idea. I'll leave one guy there to help defend. That should be more than fine. And they should be there very soon. Good, very good, very good, very good. You guys are defending there. I want you guys. Let's see. Six divisions. Let's do that. There you go. Come down there. Three divisions will be enough to hold that area. We can't win here, which is fine. Oh, we might win there now, especially since they're surrounded. So, by the end of this episode, I might consider going to war with Nueva Atzlan. They're going to be pretty darn big and powerful, which is, you know, not ideal. They have quite a few factories, but we should have just as many as them. They have way more manpower, but that really shouldn't be an issue too much if we know how to bait the AI. And I'm kind of surprised that Chichen Itza, this old tile here, has been able to hold for so long, so far. My apologies, I just had a sip of coffee. Mmm, Costa coffee. Produced by the finest slaves that we ha currently have. There you go. Oh, beat him up in the butt. Butt beaters. 
Oh, business with the cartels. So we get more relations with other uh, Mexican states and prepare a trade mission to the cartels, if we're at peace, of course. Now we can expand our operations, prepare a trade mission to the NCR. Oh, uh, for now, we can lose a little bit more monthly population. We'll get that you know, once we do customer service reports. So let's do mutilate. Mutation. Is it really that bad? Sure. It seems to cut your life expectancy by half and your fertility rate by double that, but <clears throat> but on the other side, it seems to make for a mindless, muscle-bound workforce to, uh, to exploit. Ah, yes. Very good. Yeah, at this point, they really can't do very much against us. We have 55 divisions. They have 43. 41. They've lost almost 30,000 guys. We've lost 1,100. Of course, Nueva Aslan's lost quite a few. And Petro Chico, you wanted to join the war. You have a lot of divisions. I have the fewest divisions out of any nation, which makes sense, because we're probably the smallest. Well, one of the smallest in Mexico. Well, maybe not, actually. Petro Chico, well, actually, we're probably a little better, bigger than Petro Chico, but whatever. Just because you have more divisions doesn't mean they're better. Very good. We're doing well pretty much on all fronts at this point. Very good. And I probably... So here's the peace deal, what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm probably going to take a good chunk of this stuff. I'm not going to take everything. That wouldn't be very fair. I do want to get Honduras. I might puppet them. I might annex them. I might just straight up annex them. Uh, oh, that's good. That's what's good to see. I do want uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. And then I'll give a lot of this waterway stuff. Some of this waterway stuff to Nueva Atslan. Even though right now I'm at 58%. So obviously I'm going to take most of this stuff. Good, good, good. Actually, how much manpower do these guys have left? They might they might have enough manpower, just not enough equipment. Yeah, they got enough manpower, not enough equipment, which is good for us. Good, 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 good. Technology, research speed. Do we need more water? Yeah, we do need more water, so I don't mind doing that. And like I said, I'm going to save up my political power to core stuff immediately. Especially in Tzotzil, or what was known as Tzotzil. You guys, you guys come down here. Very nice. Very good. Pedro, you've got some veterans there. Sinaloa and forces, very cool. Night person attack, idiot savant. Eh, ah, grab some more attack. Mysterious stranger. Anyone else have anything new? Ah, basic drill, awesome. More recovery rate, I love it. Get some more reinforce rate, I love it more. Oh, Romulo. Romulo, a forester, that's cool. Uh, let's see anything else though. Nerd rage. Uh, how many slots? We only have one slot left. I might just wait to use that for later. Adrian. You are a field marshal, Adrian. Sneering imperialist. Fight the power. Melee hacker. Defense. Auto supply. Smooth talker. Division. Ah, let's do division, division recovery. I always like that one. I do a lot. I like doing that one a lot. Yeah. Words are hard. And. Uh, get more melee hackers. Even though we're not using melee equipment at all. Alright, so I'm going to keep an eye on this. We're 63% of the way there, so that's actually really good. Which means we'll take most of the stuff. 64. And we're getting closer and closer to the capital. Are we still mobilizing? We're still mobilizing. That's amazing. That's awesome. We got frontier militias, civilian draft, a native army, and chemed soldiers. Love it. 65. Very good. I don't know why Petro Chico declared war on them. Miguel, do you got anything for us? You got a strong back. Ah, the fall of the Chichen Itza. Orange is the sun that sits on the Itzen Empire. Yeah, we got Mutilates. Nice. And don't forget Triremes. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, yum. Ah, Briggs. Very good. Let's grab some Briggs. Maybe make some capital ships soon. Raider Rose. We can wait on that. Now, expanding our operation sounds like fun. With our political future secured, we can now realize our dreams for even further economic expansion, not amongst the petty warlords of Mexico, but across the entire western coast and beyond. We co must go to a place called the NCR. And trade. And we do a lot of gun cell stuff. Ooh. Auto injectors? Uh. Chichen Itza, are you feeling okay? Well, obviously, they're not. But, uh... Destruction? Son? That might be a little bit too late for you. Wait, the right. Okay, so these guys are killing each other now. Cool, very cool. I mean, I guess bring it on, guys. Like, I, I guess. Uh, I don't really understand why you're doing that, but okay. We need Carmen Ka. Very cool, very cool. Ah, uh, getting our guys so much experience. This is this is this has turned out really good for us. 
So like I said, I do want to go to war with Nueva Atzalan by the end of this episode, or the beginning of next episode. We just want to make sure they don't become overly too strong. You know what we could do right now? Create an agency. Office of Strategic Services. I'm going to let this be named like this. Let me know in the comments below. A name I should call my country. Our Costa country. And a cool emblem we should use is not the KMT. What is that? Uh, probably not the ob there. Probably not Chinese stuff. I'm going to say something maybe like this. Just because there's a little Spanish. Maybe we got a little bit of Spanish heritage here. At least, that's good in agency at least. Still trying to build up roads though, which is, you know, that's alright. You know, roads are a little important. Uh, what do we want here? Recon kits? How about strip power armor? Oh, and I do robots too. I want to get robots. Okay, so after this, they should be done. 71%. They'll get 28% of the stuff. And, oh, we need Cancun Ka now. Okay, whatever. We have a good supply of everything. No longer get effects of unsuccessful year, which we give oh, double our factory production right now, which is great. Great, great, great. Oh, look at that. Free Fighters Club. We're on the Sunday. Lower Cartel. Mexico is still on fire. Uh, we wouldn't want it any other way, though. Absolutely not. 72% of the way there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's only 15 divisions there. Yeah, 15. I can add. Miguel leading the attack. Oh, that combat with is interesting, to say the least. It's probably because of these divisions down here. And they have capitulated. Well, you got 10 more score. Congrats. Um, I'm not going to give Petro anything just because I don't really think they deserve it. But let's get a little bit more score for us, and then we'll divide up the winnings. So about a quarter of the country should probably go to Nueva Atzlan, just to be fair and balanced. And by balanced, I mean balanced in my mind. So we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. You know what? I will even give you... Let's see what that looks like. I think they need one more piece. One more piece here. I could give them this. I could give them this. I'm thinking one of these two. Um, you know, I'll give them this top part. It just makes it look a little nicer. Now, is that 25%? That's probably more than 25%. Even though they really didn't have Honduras before, so I'm probably going to take the rest of this stuff. That being said, I will just take everything. Because I want to core all this stuff. Now we're going to need a lot of guns. Now that's a nice coaster. Alright, let's see. We got helmets. Helmets for our people. Recon stuff. Let's get some robots. Or at least scrap bots going so we can get some... Start producing some of those for garrisons. Now, garrisons are going to be like mad wild. Expanding our operations. Wasteland pacification. Wasteland pacification. Cool. This area needs to get cored. So, wasteland. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Wow, we're going to need a lot of, uh... Going to need a lot of, uh, political power there. Holy cow, that's a lot. But that's okay. That is totally, totally, totally okay. So let's wrap up more production of this. I'm going to put you on high, because we don't need it. Spec Ops, I don't feel like using you in this campaign, so. Three divisions. That should hold, right? Three, three divisions? Uh... Now, because we took all this territory, I don't know if Nueva Atzlan has cores or claims on territory that I took. So, we might be at war with them soon enough. And I want to make sure that we have all of these guys together. So I'm going to throw you right there. I'm going to throw you right there. You should be good. I'm going to start splitting up this army, too. Just so we have enough garrisons for each area. Currently, we get 1.7 political power a day. That's not bad. One, two, three. Um, yeah, just in case. Uh, that's, ooh, that's a bit too much. Um, you will definitely come right here to help hold the entire line, which might not be a good idea, but whatever. You need a leader. 31 political power, Juan Mutuez, Office of Strategic Services, very good, very good, and he's a tech wizard, not bad, cool. Rooted, gun nut, gunslinger, oh, you're mostly going to be using infantry, get some, I like the recon, the night, land night attack thing, get some more attack, how about that, there you go. You guys, oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, why did I give him that territory, why did I give him that little piece of territory, that's such a bad idea for me. You guys do that. I'm actually going to pull one of you guys off. Let's grab another general, because even though I want to save up my political power, whatever. Manuel. Oh, Manuel. Manuel, Manuel. 
Senate Pension, Recon. Get, get, just give them a crap ton of Recon. And any other divisions we make are going to come right here, probably. That'd be good. Hmm. Actually. Well. Instead of Manuel. There you go. Now you can guard that area, which would be good. And then we're going to throw you right here. That actually should cover us quite a bit. That's actually pretty good coverage. So we got this entire line, we got this line, we got those guys. We need way more divisions. Actually, pop out probably 12. We're going to need... Oh, well, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because I don't want to have a big deficit of guns. If you buy some more guns, that'd be good. Supply line 2. So we need 250 for 500 basic weaponry. Hmm. Let's do that. I'm going to need that. I'm really going to need that. Cool. Everyone get organized. Uh, let's let the time go on just a little bit more so that we can start, you know, making sure to pacify the area, increase our weapon stockpile, you know, all the good stuff. And we're going to have to garrison a lot of areas, including Honduras. There. I know there's nothing there, but whatever. That's not bad. Expanding our operations, and we can do that too. Let's see. The lease of two harbors. Huh, the merchants of the Boneyard have received our trade ships with open arms. If we can permanently guarantee a warm reception in the future, we can use this as a basis for further exploration of the Pacific Coast. Sounds like a great idea. Alright, so now we can do some gun running stuff. Let's see, Sinaloa Cartel selling 150 infantry equipment to Costa Capinata. Oh, they send this stuff to us. They get political power. We lose political power. Oh, gun resale. I didn't even realize we had gun resales. I do want to save my political power up, though, really. Republic gets war bonds. They get more war support for 90 days. Hmm. I'm going to do this a little, a little bit first, though. Oh, did, wait. We can disrupt river traffic? Against who? I don't mind accepting refugees, though. I mean, I like more multi-population, but we get 94 a month. Let's get some internal investments. I can probably just ignore this completely for now. Contact... Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. And volunteering. 480 days. We can volunteer for other places. Yeah, why would I want to kill my own guys off? Let's do war bonds just because we say we can. Free fighters. Oh, crap. That free fighters. Those are big free fighters. Let's do that. Just for funsies. Cool. And let's not forget you guys. Train. I'm going to need a lot more uh, experience from you guys. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, that's a good idea. Everyone here, you train too if you can. If you need it. You probably don't. And you guys honestly probably don't either, so... Mad X, very cool. Post that. I like recon companies. I think those would be very nice to have. Uh, what do we want? I'm doing power armor. Oh, that's right. We wanted blimps. I want more blimps. Oh, we can do the specialized warfare, but I'm not even using a lot of that stuff. Hopefully, we'll be making more blimps soon. Actually, let's do some naval stuff, like some naval techs, because those are pretty important to do as well. Good, 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 good. Um, I'll throw you right here, since there's, there's only two guys there. But we get three... Get a good number. We're probably going to get attacked pretty harshly by Nueva Atzlan. And i got to make sure we have enough garrisons for our uh, coasts. Coast guards. That'll be important. You know what? With extra money. Let's buy some more. That'll be fine with me. Oh, look. We can get a spy, too. A brig. Oh, paddle steamer. Oh, we're out of money. Oh, that's not good. Tomas. I'm going to get Tomas just because he's one of my mods on my Discord server, which, if you haven't checked out already, eh, consider checking it out. Uh, so we could do more spy stuff, or even actually do any spy stuff, which is, you know, that's fine with me. Let's do that. Cool, we have three civilian factories. Even though we just won a war, we have three civilian factories. How great. Alright, yes, yeah, so I'm going to waste that pacification. Okay, so that's good. We're probably out of infantry equipment. Yes. Yes, we are. Lower that by two, that'd be fine. Lower by one, that'd be fine. Lower by three, detection and communication training. Let's do some more of this. I always do the communication stuff first. I don't know why, just because I'm so used to it, probably. It seems pretty easy to do. Oh, hello, Senor Tomas. Uh, see what's going on in... Oh, so that's Oaxaca. I'm going to assume it's like... Oh, God. Hachicalco? Oh, good gracious, I have no idea. Oh, I'm so bad at that. Oh, oh god, we need so many guns. Uh, please, gun runners, can I have guns, please? In a week, we'll have a lot more guns, which would be good. Occupy territories. 
Put him down, put him down. Mechanized training, and we're done with that stuff over there. Cool. Recon kits, so yeah, we might as well do that, because why not? Please? Can I call you, please? I'd like to call you. Ah, uh, sweet power armor, awesome. Servos, might as well. Why not? Actually, I need new, more industry stuff, probably. Former department, great. Radio interception, farm, sir. What up for spies? Cypher school, we'll do cypher school, why not? And cryptology, yes. Ah, uh, we are modernizing ourselves. I love it. So we got, looks like a few more guns. That's good. And we'll get a few more guns later on, too, which is very good as well. Oh, my goodness. We get 100 bottle caps per quarter. Hmm. That's not good. That's really not good. All right, so can we pacify these people a little bit faster, please? That would be great. Internal investments. It does help if you core some more states, but the least of two harbors. The flagship. We get wood treatment and CAF flagships. With things going so well for us, it wouldn't hurt to indulge in a little vanity project. Just in case. Just in case a little bit. Even though we won our war, we still have that many factories. <laughs> Scrap. Let's see. I don't really want to trade with these guys too much. How about the vice royalty? Yeah, there you go. Let's get a little bit of that from them. Uh, I don't want to trade with New Abbot's line. I don't want to help them out. No, no. Uh, go ahead and just build another thing there. Another civilian factory. Build up lots of civilian factories. Good, good, good. What happened to my political power? What did I do with it? Did I spend it? I must have spent it. Or the, these guys did something. Uh, help the settlements because I need more civilian factories. We're about to get a little bit more infantry equipment, which will be a godsend. Please, please, please. Ah, very good. Very nice. Now we should be e easily pacify the rest of this area. Good. Especially Honduras. Government sector schools. Great. We'll do some more of that. I want to get at least two spots before we do anything else. Whistler. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. We're doing pretty well. Pretty darn well. We don't really need more army XP, but you know, it's okay. Now what is Nueva Atlan doing? Serpent's Nests. We're guaranteeing the independence of Petro Chico. Uh, motorized, motorized. I wonder which. Do they have something against me? The final weapon. Speak for the people. Nope. War bonds. Oh, we. Yeah. War bonds is done, which is fine. Let time go on a little bit further. Ooh, scrap bots. I don't have the industry to make you guys, but eventually. Eventually. Hmm, industry. Now we're done with that. We're done with a lot of the stuff, actually. Resource extraction. Get some more energy cells, I suppose. Messenger seagulls. Very good, very good. Oh, there's a wood armor stuff. Wood treatment. That's good. Hmm. I want to... Before I go to war, I want to at least core one piece of territory before we do anything. I think that'd be good. And actually... We can do all this stuff, but... Uh, I still have negative one current off-map factors. That's really disappointing. Trade mission. Ah, uh, we're even locked out of doing that. That really sucks. That really sucks. Even if I do this. I guess I could, but... It adds one off-map... Civilian workshops, paddle steamers, very cool. Can I grab river barges? I can grab you. And that'd be good. Combat barges are really good to use. Oh, let's research that and we'll start upgrading that ship, probably, at least a little bit. Ah, coffee is glorious. So the pacification's going up. Actually, do I have. Resistance targets, daily compliance gain, that's pretty good. Government cipher schools. Oh, I don't even have, have enough civilian factories to do all this stuff. Actually. Yeah, I still don't have enough here. Uh, just keep building another civilian factory for now. That'd be fine with me. I could... I could raise this up to go to outside of your battalions. Like what I did when I played when I played Vault City. I did the same thing. But to make it a little different, I'm just going to stay with outsider volunteers, probably. Yeah, I don't want to lose 100% non-core manpower. That doesn't sound really good. Yeah... All multi-purpose equipment, very nice. Energy cell capacity, sure. Let's bomb vulnerability, the flagship. Awesome. And we got wood treatment too. Raider rust, we can wait. Uh, second bread basket. That looks pretty cool. Even though we can't really do that. Let's do this one first. The second bread basket of Mexico. With the hot fires of nuclear annihilation may have turned the rest of the world into an unbelievable hellscape for us. It became a highly fertile hellscape. The irradiated soil of Costa Cafenada can grow just about anything that is planted, as long as it can survive the background radiation. And get a little bit more production bonus to civilian workshops, which is very cool. 
Eh, we got 36%. What do we do here? Or what do we know about these guys now? Lesser Southern Development. No, by the time we go to war, this is going to be one massive war against us. Which is, eh, it is, it is what it is. We don't know exactly what their template is. We need 80% army intel, which is fine. I'm just going to assume they have some big, oh, 20 combat width divisions, which is, you know, pretty standard. You guys probably beef up. I really don't like how weak our divisions are around here, so, hmm, give me one at a time. Actually, there you go. You spread you guys out a little bit more like that. There you go. Easy. Uh, you, Servos, more naval stuff. Probably. That'll be good. Alright. Very good, very good, very good. Keep an eye on this. Occupy territories. Because I really want to get this to 100%. So goes it by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 a day. Probably by 0.2. Followed up by another 0.2. I love 0.2. Make another one, but then we'll do another tech or agency thingamabob. But we need nine, 393 political power a day, which is insane, but I don't, yeah, the core and cost cap is 300, so we just need to have a little bit more, just a little bit more, that'd be nice, yes, uh, I, wish, I wish I could do this, ugh, I feel it's so bad that I can't do this, especially the Brotherhood of Steel, that sounds like a lot of fun, but it is disappointing that we cannot do that, hmm, consumer goods, 2%, I don't want to use any political power up first, really, this stuff might be okay, but, you know, whatever, simple servos. Scavenged PA, that's pretty good. Hmm, we got a little bit more stability, that's kind of nice. Build up our resources. Oh, that's not good. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Wrought iron manufacturing. Mm. Oh, I could raise my conscription, but why does conscription cost so much? Holy cow, 350. National garrisons. Oh, nice, we got combat barges, that's really good. Yeah, good stuff. Tugboats, we can ignore that. Let's grab some sails. And after we're done with sail navigation, then I'll make some of the combat barges. But before we do that, we gotta do Glory Falls. Cool. Paddle seamers. Uh, I'm gonna ignore all of you guys. Thank you. R river barges. So, I never remember, like, what's here. So, river barges are okay. Combat barges are, what, are what's really good. So, river barges go bye bye. So, all I want is combat barges. Battle barges. Two barges. Uh, I did upgrade you once. Yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to make you get you guys out. That's good. Some more coffee roasters. Throw you right here. Brick housing. Very nice, very nice. Grab some more naval modules. Oh, can we at least core one area? Let's see. Yes, we can. 26,000 manpower. That's that's a hefty amount. Actually, it might be better to do up here just so that we can get up here. And then over here as well. So actually, let's do this area first. And this has more uh, resistance, so it's probably better to do it up here. Very nice. It didn't take all our uh, you know population or political power, but that's okay. Oh, wait. What do you guys... You guys don't have orders. Oh. I think four divisions should be good to hold there. There you go. And let's keep a good eye on this. That's good. That's good. I'm going to put you on medium. We should be able to hold well enough. Ooh, light robot division. That's good. Second breadbasket of Mexico. Bumper crops. More growth. I definitely want to wait for soil reclamation projects because I want to use that for more of Mexico as a whole. So we're going to wait on that for now at least. Let's do bumper crops. A man cannot live on coffee alone at least... Not yet, anyways. I wish, man. While we're working on that technical issue, rotating our coffee fields with high-yield grain crops can help offset our cost overheads. Yes, more production growth. Power armor divisions. I would love to make you. Actually, do I have any blimps yet? We have six. We have six blimps. I need more factories. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, I need more factories. Scrap bots. You might as well put that in production queue when we get there someday. As well as that. All right, well, like I said, oh, financial decisions. Yeah, I really don't care about that. Return investments, you know, whatever. Uh, am I making another agency upgrade yet? No. That's a big no-no. So, like I said, I do want to go to war. How many guys do we need here first? Oh, there goes the 80s and basically the white legs. 
Oh, God dang, I need more divisions here. Go ahead and train for now. That's good to do, I suppose. Signal flags. Nice. And we have only a thousand slaves. Huh. I need more slaves than that. Are you kidding me? I need more slaves. Mmm. Aid. Stockpile. Water. Water is so good. Let's get some more water. Oh, we have a duck. Oh, we have the dockyards. They actually finished the ship. Nice. Well, whatever. We'll upgrade this first for now, and then we'll upgrade it much later. Oh, we, we can't upgrade it. God dang it. You know what? Make some convoys for now. Let's let our guys train a little bit more. Nice. It's going to take a while, but whatever. We got time. 30,000 manpower. Not enough. All right, let's go ahead and start justifying on these guys. They'll probably naval invade me, but it only takes 50 days. You know what? Oh! Okay, that's actually really good. Santa Ana declared one Petro, and they're guaranteed by Nueve. Oh, my goodness. And if they don't go to that war effort or help them out, they're going to get hit with stability loss, right? Probably. So, unless they already took the stability hit. They might have already taken the stability hit. No one likes the white legs, which makes sense. You guys are only... Why are you not joining the war? That doesn't make any sense. Does the AI not get affected by stability loss by after they guarantee somebody and they say no? They must have already said no. And more intelligency stuff. Intelligence stuff. Good, 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 good. Uh, we did all that stuff. Let's get some commando training. Of course, going to war without guns is probably not a good idea. At least we don't have any deficit of money, at least. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. How are you not fighting these guys yet? Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. My bad. I said it wrong. The independence of Nueva Atzalan is guaranteed by Petro. Petro is guaranteeing Nueva Atzalan. Why? Oh, we're going to need some anti-tank. Because we take out the rest of Mexico. We're going to need some serious anti-tank. These guys have way more factories than us. Way more manpower. Um... Oh, we need to repair more. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, just do that. Wrought iron manufacturing. Very nice. Very good. Keep doing that. Even though we can't, you know put stuff on our ships yet. It's, it's okay to wait. Bumper crops. Very cool. Secondary industries. There's a lot more to growing coffee than just a watering can and some dirt. Form production, packaging, supply, and administration. Our self-sufficiency as an organization has ensured our continued growth as a, a company. Yes, yes, yes. And we got some sail navigations, but I don't have the naval XP really to do much else. But let's, get, let's get some paddle wheels. Uh, I know. I'm just taking a while to go to war. Just... Uh, I want to go to war, but it's... I, I, I'm just fine anyway, so... We'll see what happens. I just am a little concerned about our garrisons. And I don't want to plop these guys out too early. Especially when they're not ready. When we have a little bit of a deficit of that. Actually, hold on. I didn't check yet. Come over here. Wasteland pacification. Sporadic outpost. We need way less divisions doing that. And we're almost done with Chichen Itza 2, which is great. Commando training. Awesome. Interrogation techniques. Distribute pit boys. Steel technology. Invisible ink. Ah, I prefer suicide pills. Cool. Uh, since I'm not even doing this stuff, I just more profiteering can go down. Oh, we have another. Oh, whoops, my bad. Optic filters. Great. I'm keeping an eye on this stuff. Oh, we get another spy soon. Very two. Very two. Very soon. So we can go to war. And the 24th. You know what? Oh, they're so close. I want to auto-deploy them. They're 2%. We can wait for 2%. Good. We got three more. We got four more soon. Gary. Spec Ops teams. Grappling harpoons. Yeah, let's get that on there. Hell yeah. Scavenge power armor. Very cool. Let's grab... Well... Maybe some more naval stuff. Oh, oh, I forgot about this stuff. Why did I forget about the circuitry? How did I forget about that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're making more roads. That's uh, that's okay. I want more than just roads, though. Yeah, build it up. I want I want at least fifteen things per line. So now we have eighteen divisions. We need a total of twenty-two, which is really making me feel a little uncomfortable. Not gonna lie. And we can go to war on the twenty-fourth. So give me just a little bit more time. If I can't, I want to pute out. Oh my god, that's so not good. Oh, because we just made more divisions, which is fine. Alright, so to defend here, can four divisions defend against five? Probably. 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 Oh, the battlecruiser. When did I get a battlecruiser? The brig. 
Oh, I had that for a while. Nice. We actually have a capital ship. Great. I'm going to make it more convoys. So, uh, where can we not hold? We might not be able to hold it on our main front. Oh, we probably won't be able to hold our main front line there. This area will probably be okay. Maybe not. Over here will be fine as well. Actually, I probably don't even need you right there. I'm going to pull you out. Drop you up right there. Pop you guys. Half you guys come here. The other half, I'm going to make a new army right here. To just kind of help defend the line in general right here. Oh, I just threw you all there. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just kind of help hold the line in general. Led by Manuel. Manuel. So. November 24th. Let's try to make sure we get out of our gun deficit first. Okay, everyone really hates the white legs. They really hate the white legs. Holy cow. I don't even have enough money to buy more guns. Huh, this is a sad day. Can we just like make get slaves to make stuff for us, please? Ah, uh, another spy. Great. Merchants, Army Department. And Victoriano Geronimo. Geronimo sounds like a great person. You guys, I could root out resistance, but I don't really need to. Uh, 95% is very nice. I want to know as much as I possibly can about Nueva Atlan. Alright, so before we go to war, let's double check. 61,000. Okay, so this division template has what? We don't have enough intel on them yet. Huh. 16 spec ops, old country. Old country is a pretty big place. Pretty cool. Our deficit of guns is going down a little bit, which is good. Fire teams, support equipment. Oh, we got plenty of support equipment. Can I throw anything else on my roasters? Anti tank. I could. Did someone did say I should throw on some power armor support? But I don't even have. I'm not even making power armor. Yeah, there's not really much I can do with that right there. Coffee roasters. We already threw everything we can on these guys. Garrisons, drug thugs. They're just doing stuff there. Coast guards. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's reduce this. We don't need. 14 combat with there, and we actually have enough army XP to do that. That actually saves a little bit on guns too, which is really great. Uh, they're, if they're guarding the coasts, I could probably throw dogs on them. They give no more defense. Oh, never mind. Power armor support gives a little bit more defense. That's okay. All right, express on 24th. I want to wait up until the very final day first. Technology. Ah, oh, secondary industry is great. That really helps us with more uh, resources. Soils, soil. I like that, but let's go ahead and do advanced gifts. Huh. Refueling hulks. Hulks. The distances our coffee barges are traveling can no longer be measured in days, but in months, and with such long distances to travel, fuels and supplies can run dangerously low by placing stationary, ghoul operated refueling husks or hulks along the coast. We can provide a safety net for our outgoing vessels. So we get more energy cell gain per energy, plus 25% from generators and capacity. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so you guys definitely need to stop training now. We're gonna go to war very, very soon. Uh, I'm gonna pop you out immediately because I need you out right now. We have a small deficit, you know, whatever. I hope these guys can hold, they're pretty good. And uh, the enemy does have, actually, they're mostly on this. Uh, some of their divisions are really good. Some of them aren't good, they're okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can hold right here. Hmm, more divisions. Yeah, throw you right there. Army department, uh, anti-partisan, anything else here? Diplomatic training, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much, honestly. Okay, you guys stop training. Go ahead, head back home. All right. We should be able to hold here easily. This should be able to hold for the most part. We're gonna take some serious bonker hits or something. And we're gonna pause it. I'm gonna go to war. 175 divisions. Can we beat these guys up? Potential enemies. We're going to have to go to war with Petro Chico, but they're probably not having a good time. But let's do it anyways. Cool, but unfortunately, I'm going to end the episode here because, well, we're about 40 minutes in. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we are going to struggle against Nueva Atalan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.